Hi, this is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. Today I just have a quick tutorial to show you how to make a chevron friendship bracelet. To make a chevron friendship bracelet, you're going to need um, at least four colors of embroidery floss. You can use more to make a wider bracelet if you choose. You'll also need some tape, or I know some people like to use a safety pin and like pin it to their clothes or something like that. Um, and then you'll also need scissors, and then you can use optionally a pony bead or a button to finish it off at the end. Start by measuring and cutting all of your string. For a bracelet that is as wide as mine, which is an eight strand bracelet, you'll have four 60 inch strands total, and then you fold them in half, so that makes eight. But like I said, you can also adjust the width of the bracelet by adding more strands, but then the length of each strand will be longer the more strands you choose. So for a slightly thinner bracelet, a six strand bracelet, you'll use three 50 inch strands. For a wider bracelet, a 10 strand bracelet, you'll use five 70 inch strands. Um, so basically for each color you add to increase the width, you'll add 10 inches to the length of your strands. Gather all your strands together, fold them in half, and then make a loop with your finger in the center and tie a knot. And this loop is where you'll fasten the bracelet when you're done. Next, just um, tape the loop to a surface or you can use a clipboard or like I said before, um, a safety pin to just fasten it to something so it's not moving around. It'll be easier to work on a flat surface so I do recommend either taping on a table or using a clipboard. Now separate all of the strands so that the colors on the right and left mirror each other. So you can see I've got the two yellows, then the purples, and then my orange and then my pink is gonna be both in the middle. So we're gonna start with our leftmost strand, the yellow strand, and we're gonna tie a forward knot um, kind of around the second strand, which is our purple strand. The easiest way to remember that is it resembles a number four. So you make a number four over it and then bring the yellow strand underneath and through that number four and you hold the second strand my purple strand tight and then slide the yellow strand up the second purple strand so you should have a total of two forward knots using the yellow and purple string once you've repeated that twice you'll move on to using Again, our first strand, that yellow strand, it's kind of going to be traveling and we'll, we'll tie the forward knot around the orange strand. So again, do that two times on the orange strand. And then finally, we will be at our middle position and we're going to tie the forward knots around the pink strand two times. Once you've finished with the first yellow strand, that one will now kind of be in the middle and you'll repeat the same process on the right hand side with the yellow strand coming from the right to the middle. But rather than tying a series of forward knots, we'll be tying backward knots instead. So the easiest way to remember that, it's exactly the same, but it's a mirrored process, is that you're gonna be making a backward number four. So continue to make two backward knots on each of those colors using that first yellow strand until it meets the other, other yellow strand in the middle. And once our two beginning strands, our yellow strands have met in the middle, we're going to take those two and form a backward knot. So your right hand yellow strand will be the active strand to form the backward four, while your left hand yellow strand will stay taut and straight. And then repeat that the exact same way to create a second backward knot. So you're just doing two backward knots using those two yellow strands. And then that's going to make your first V in the chevron pattern. And then you can repeat the same thing with the other colors. So now I'll take my purple strand and do the exact same thing, working my way into the middle, making the forward knots 
on the left hand side and the backward knots on the right hand side two for each color and then you just continue going until the bracelet is the length that you want it and then tie a knot on the end to secure all of the work that you did and then you can use the loop that you made in the first step to tie the bracelet onto your wrist or you can even put um, a little bead or a button on the end so that you can put it through that loop um, to help fasten it on. And that's how you make a chevron friendship bracelet. Head to the description below to check out my blog cutesycrafts.com and to also see links to my other friendship bracelet tutorials.